Guest House provides safe, affordable, temporary lodging for medical patients and their families, as well as military veterans, when they're getting treatment at Chicagoland hospitals. Executive Director Adam Hellman and Director of Development Dion Nicole Smith join us now with more. And you were telling us a lot about what you guys do, but for our audience, let's, let's inform them, because a lot of what you do, I don't think people think that there's a resource out there mm. like this. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about Guest House and what it is that you guys do. Sure. So Guest House is a nonprofit, and our mission is to help patients get life-saving treatment when they need to stay in the hospital. So oftentimes when people get a serious medical diagnosis, uh, they have a serious problem, they need advanced care, they have to go to a one of our really distinguished Chicago hospitals. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't live nearby. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they live nearby, but transition back and forth, transportation isn't very easy. Mm -hmm. So we provide temporary lodging for them at our facility. Uh, we're the only organization in this area that's open to patients of any age, receiving any kind of treatment, inpatient, outpatient, as well as uh, supporting families and caregivers, and we never turn anybody away for financial reasons. Oh. I was surprised, Dion, because mm -hmm. I, I would think, okay, someone had a procedure, they need to be close to doctors. We're talking about a month or two, but you've mm -hmm. had people over a year stay there. We have, and what we're seeing even more of are organ transplants. So our top four diagnoses actually are cancer, mm -hmm. organ transplant, NICU PED, so obviously the caregivers, the patients of a sick child, mm -hmm. and then military veterans, because that population is getting treatment for PTSD. So we have people who actually come in for two weeks at a time, cohorts mm -hmm. of military veterans, who receive this intensive outpatient treatment at Rush Medical Center. And that's just really wonderful when you think about all these resources, but in terms of your question, Yes, what we're saying is based on their diagnosis, because you have to be in active treatment okay. in okay. order to stay with us. Mm -hmm. So based on the diagnosis, if your doctor says you need to stay close to the hospital, you're with us. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to turn anyone away for an inability to pay, as Adam said. If you need the treatment, we're here. That's and, why this is so important, us being here this morning. So you're by the UIC campus, mm -hmm. but you service anyone at any hospital in the Chicago area, right? So we have partnerships with um, Stroger Hospital, Cook County Hospital, UI Health, the University of Illinois, Rush Hospital, and then U Chicago. So for those hospitals, any treatment, any diagnosis. We also have partnerships with American Cancer Society, so we'll work with cancer patients receiving treatment at any Chicago area hospital. Likewise, Gift of Hope Organ and Tissue Donor Network, mm -hmm. we work with transp organ transplant patients receiving treatment at any hospital. And then we have other sponsors and other programs, so there's a good chance that from any hospital we can... What about Jesse Brown, because you mentioned veterans. Jesse Brown... the. We uh, are we're, we're working with we the VA. We <laughs> what I said because we want to have a relationship okay. with Jesse Brown. Right. We're we on want that. to. Right, right now, our relationship in terms of serving the military veteran population is with Rush Home because they have a, a program called Road Home. Mm. Okay. okay. So they have an existing program, and so we provide that lodging. But we would love to work with Jesse Brown. Okay. We would. Now, how do people get to you? Are they referred by their physicians? Do they contact you outright? How does that process mm -hmm. work? They're referred by their medical team. Okay. So uh, somebody gets a diagnosis, they hear about treatment, and a social worker or a nurse navigator will give us, refer them to us. And so based on that referral, they'll be able to stay with us. Okay, okay. All right, so you're celebrating 25 yes. years wow. this right. year. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, but the work still needs to be done. A lot of So it. in order to help fund that, you guys mm -hmm. have a gala coming up. We do. We're so excited. The house always wins. <laughs> we love that love because that. it's a casino theme entertainment. But that's going to be on Monday, April 15th. So we mm -hmm. say tax day. Spend your dollars with <laughs> us. <laughs> Yes, please. And I love that you guys have a team at the Chicago Marathon, we and do. that's hard ticket to get into, yes, so they can still so join your please. team. Yes, we okay. are so trying to fill our, fill our last 10 slots by okay. this Wednesday. So anybody who's watching, can you please? If you want to run and okay. you didn't get please, in. That's right. right. Yeah. Please. So basically when you do that, you mm -hmm. run as uh, raising funds you for do. Guest House. You right. have to run. We're a charity partner, so you have to raise funds for us. Yes. Wow, but you can get into we, the race. Yep. We do support people with that. We help them with fundraising. We help them to develop web pages, things like that. So okay. it's one of those things when people put their names out there and say that they're running to 
run the marathon and support a charity. You know, and you've had people ask you for that as well, mm -hmm. like in your network of friends. People love to support a good cause like that. Yeah, yeah that's what a great cause. It's wonderful yes. work you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you so much, so much Adam and Dion.